Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our first competitor of the evening, Colin Parr. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Shamrock FC 357. Jeremy Johnson along tonight with Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt Adam Meredith. Now starting off the night, we are gonna move to a grappling card. Now our grappling are three minutes submission only. If there is no submissions within the time limit, this match will be declared a draw. Now making his way into the cage is Colin Parr, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt with over 14 years of combat experience. And tonight he takes on a tough one in Kirkhoff. And his opponent, Kirk Huff. Now making his way to the cage by way of Arnold BJJ, it is Kirk Huff. The Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt has over 15 years in the game. The former pro MMA fighter is just one of those who lives the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu lifestyle. Yeah, I mean, Kirk's been in the game for a long, long time, as, as Colin has as well. So this is, this is an exciting matchup between these two. Yeah, this is a great test here of high-level grapplers from here in the Midwest who both have experience in the world of MMA. But tonight, it's all about the no-gi, and here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's opening matchup is a submission grappling contest, and it's set for one five-minute round. In order for a competitor to leave this cage victorious, he must submit his opponent within the allotted five-minute time limit. If there is no submission at the end of the five-minute round, this match is declared a draw. Introducing to you first on my right, fighting tonight out of the FM Roofing Blue Corner. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, official weight 184.8 pounds. Fighting out of Pocahontas, Illinois, Colin Clean Parr. And his opponent across the cage, fighting tonight out of the first form red corner. This fighter stands five feet, 10 inches tall. He weighed in at 198 pounds. Fighting out of Arnold, Missouri, Kirk Huff. Adam, both of these guys, two highly skilled black belts. Talk me through the rules of this match. Yeah, so, you know, it's a submission only uh, with both of these guys being black belts. I mean, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't expect them to waste too much time on the feet. We got a little bit of wrestling here, obviously. Colin tried, tried it with an arm drag there. Kirk trying to do a little bit of a Russian tie. A lot of hand fighting. A lot of experience from both of these guys. Oh, over, nice inside trip there. Over 30 years of experience in the world of grappling between the two of them. Yeah, you see Kirk here working this knee shield. He's on his hip, able to get back to a full guard, working a little bit of a butterfly there. Knee shield on this other side. Colin again just trying to, to keep, actually he wants to keep Kirk on, on his hip so he can try to go for a pass. Looks like he was trying to work a, a, a knee cut. Steps Parr out, steps the reset. Out. Doing a good job controlling those ankles of Kirk's. So there's a lot of control here, but you know it's all about not grabbing the clothes, anything. It's not like working in the gi. Right, yeah. You don't you don't have the same amount of grips, you have to grab wrists and uh, Oh nice oh, roll there by Huff. Tries to get into a leg entanglement there. Uses that as a reversal though. Gets a, gets on top. How important is that top position? You know, you know, we say, you know, get on top, stay on top in grappling. Yeah, you know, that definitely applies much more so in a, a rule set where there are points applied, not so much a submission submission only setting, but I mean, if, when you're on top, you know, you're, you're in the more dominant of the two positions. But, you know, that's the thing about jujitsu, though. You, know, you can be very uh, effective off your back. I mean, that's the whole point of the art, right? right? So some guys prefer to be on bottom because they just have such a dangerous game. And with all submissions being legal here, you know, you have leg entanglements and and a lot of different options on, on bottom. Yeah, and 
Colin told me coming into this that he really was all about the idea of if he got on top, it was all about passing the guard. If he got on bottom, it was all about working for the specific technique. Okay. And it's all about getting on that hip right there. Yeah, and he has really good sticky hooks here as he's working that butterfly. So they reset Back on their, their feet. feet. And sometimes for the uninitiated, you know, when you're seeing those guys on the ground, it doesn't look like a lot is happening, but there, believe me, there's a lot going on down there. You got different grips and positions, and there's, there's a lot happening. Both of these guys very strong in that upper body. Parr also has a lot of wrestling experience. Yeah, you know, he went for that shot. Kirk trying to uh, snatch up that neck. To try to drag him down. Oh, this is a bad position here for Parr. Now moves into the north-south. Yeah, north-south. It's good control here by Kirk. This is, and then, you know, in a lot of grappling situations, you don't have a cage or a wall to push off of, so that presents a whole different element here. You know, Colin was able to use that, get a, a good angle, helping Bird himself to, you know, get back to his feet here. So how important is the stand-up? Because it, it, it brings you basically back to neutral. You know, everything starts on, on the feet, but, you know, you can't get a submission as easily on the feet. You can go for some sort of flying technique, of course, uh, maybe get like a standing guillotine, but, you know, you can't do as much on the feet, you know. This is very much a ground art. Really, Our push and heavy here. Really happy we're doing a five minutes with this, so these guys have plenty of time to uh, to work. Well, this is the five minutes in this is all about the idea that these are two very high level competitors at this. They compete all over the world. Inside trip there, nice getting that fight to the ground. Yeah, absolutely. That was a beautiful shot by Colin. You know, he's taking a few shots here. He's going for the pass, and again, you know, when you're passing, you have to get around those legs, which can be. It'd be very tricky at times, especially when you got a high level guys. Kirk with the sweep there. It's on top, Colin, you know, just yeah. working that knee shield. That knee shield is going to help control the distance and the spacing. Kirk's going to have to get on the inside of that knee, or he's going to have to get on top of that knee so he can, he can flatten that out and, and start passing. He's working. A lot of aggression here coming out of Huff. Huff out of Arnold BJJ here in St. Louis, Missouri. That's his own gym there. Colin Parr coming out of Watson's Martial Arts uh, under Kyle Watson. Both very decorated athletes in, in their own. Yeah, you see, see there's wrestling, fighting for head position. Colin tried to go for a we try to go for like a standing little guillotine there. Wasn't able to get over the top of that. Kirk, Kirk here working a single leg. Down to less than seven seconds remaining here. Parr looking for that inside trip. He's had a lot of success with that inside trip. Now he's working that, that single leg on the cage. It's going to be tough. Again, you know, with Kirk's experience in the cage, that's not a, a, a new position for him. No. So. A great display here of high-level grappling here at Shamrock FC 357 to yeah. kick off the night here. Of course, we have a ton of mixed martial arts and kickboxing action, all the combat sports going down. But right now, let's send this one up to the cage to Joe Parisi to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, as the five minute time limit elapses and there is no submission, this match is officially declared a draw. How about a round of applause for both of these contestants? A great match there out of both of these gentlemen, Colin Parr and Kirk Huff. Tough, high level Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belts. You're not gonna see a lot. I mean, th this is the top of the top right here. Yeah, I mean, both those guys are very skilled. You know, five minutes is, is tough to get a, a submission in, in, in that amount of time. Um, there's a lot of action, though. I mean, they didn't slow down. You know, it, it was active. Um, not a ton of submission attempts, but really good wrestling display, some really good passing. Um, that was a great match. And we have more action to come, and we'll be right back right here at Shamrock Fighting Championships.